Have you ever wondered how the energy of everyday objects affects your life? Do you know what unseen forces you might be inviting into your home? Are you ready to learn how to protect your spiritual well-being? In this video, we will explore the fascinating world of energy and how it impacts us through the objects we receive from others. In Zen Buddhism, being aware of our surroundings is very important. And everything around us carries energy. And being mindful of what we accept into our lives is crucial for keeping our spirits healthy. Many cultures have long believed in the power of energy. In Chinese traditions, it's known as qi. In Indian beliefs, it's prana. And in Polynesian practices, it's manna. This energy can be good or bad, and it can affect our well-being in ways we might not realize. Immediately, before we dive into the nine things you should never receive from anyone, I want to remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel Story Path, and share your thoughts in the comments. Your support helps us spread messages of awareness and well-being. Also, feel free to share your gratitude and positive affirmations below. It's a wonderful way to reflect openness to the universe's blessings. Throughout this video, we'll talk about how everyday objects carry energy and why spiritual cleanliness is essential. We'll look at items like mirrors, salt, mattresses, wallets, locks, two jewelry, clothing, books, and plants. Each object has a unique way of absorbing and reflecting energy. And it's important to clean them to avoid bringing unwanted influences into your life. For example, did you know that mirrors can act as portals that absorb and reflect energy? Or that salt? often used for purification, can also absorb negative energies. We will explore these topics and more, giving you practical tips and cultural insights to help you maintain a clean and positive spiritual environment. By the end of this video, you'll understand more about the energies around you and how to protect yourself from negative influences. You'll learn about the importance of spiritual cleanliness and how to clean everyday objects using methods like smudging with sage, sound vibrations, and focused intentions. This knowledge will help you create a more mindful and spiritually aware life. So stay with us until the end to gain valuable insights into Zen Buddhist teachings and practical advice on keeping your spiritual well-being. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on more content like this. Let's start this journey together to create peaceful and positive energy in our lives. Mirrors are more than just objects that show our reflection. They hold much deeper meaning in many cultures and spiritual practices. In Zen Buddhism. Mirrors are seen as items that can absorb and reflect energy. This means they can carry the energy of the places and people they have been around, both good and bad. Understanding this helps us see why it's important to be mindful of the mirrors we bring into our lives. Imagine the story of a man named Kenji who bought a beautiful antique mirror from a flea market. Soon after bringing it home, he started experiencing strange feelings and negative thoughts. His peaceful home felt heavy and unsettling. He didn't realize that the mirror had absorbed bad energies from its previous owner. This story teaches us to be careful with second-hand mirrors as they can carry unknown energies that affect our well-being. In various cultures, mirrors are believed to be portals to other realms. They are not just objects to see our reflection, but gateways that can bring different energies into our space. For example, in Feng Shui, mirrors are used carefully to direct energy flow in a home. If placed wrongly, they can invite bad energy. 
This belief aligns with Zen teachings that emphasize the importance of mindful living and awareness of our environment. To ensure that mirrors bring good energy, it's important to cleanse them regularly. One effective way is smudging with sage burning sage and letting the smoke waft around the mirror can purify it and remove any bad energy it has absorbed. Another method is using sound vibrations like ringing a bell or using a singing bowl near the mirror. The sound waves help break up and clear stuck energies. Besides smudging and sound vibrations, salt can also be used for cleansing. Sprinkling a bit of salt around the edges of the mirror and letting it sit for a while can absorb bad energies. Afterward, the salt should be thrown away properly as it now contains the absorbed negativity. Crystals like clear quartz or black tourmaline can also be placed near the mirror to help keep its energy clear and positive. Incorporating these practices into your routine can make a big difference. By being mindful of the mirrors you bring into your home and taking steps to cleanse them, you can maintain a positive and harmonious living space. This awareness not only protects your well-being, but also aligns with the Zen practice of living mindfully and harmoniously with our surroundings. Remember, the energy of the objects we surround ourselves with can greatly influence our lives. Mirrors, with their unique ability to absorb and reflect energy, remind us of the importance of spiritual cleanliness. By taking these simple steps to cleanse and care for our mirrors, we invite good energy and harmony into our homes, enriching our spiritual journey. Through understanding and applying these Zen teachings, we learn to live with greater awareness and mindfulness. Our surroundings become not just places we live, but spaces of good energy that support our well-being and spiritual growth. So the next time you look into a mirror, think beyond the reflection and consider the energy it holds. 2. Salt Salt is a common substance found in every household, but its importance goes beyond just seasoning food. In many cultures and spiritual practices, salt is recognized for its powerful cleansing properties. It is used to purify spaces, objects, and even people. However, salt can also absorb energies, both good and bad, from those who handle it. Understanding this helps us appreciate the role salt plays in our spiritual well-being. Imagine a village that used salt to ward off evil spirits. In this village, there was a sacred ritual where the villagers would sprinkle salt around their homes and at the entrances to protect against negative energies. This practice passed down through generations helped maintain peace and harmony in the community. The story of this village highlights the ancient belief in salt's power to cleanse and protect. Salt is also used in different cultural practices for its purifying effects. For example, in Japanese Shinto rituals, salt is sprinkled to purify spaces before ceremonies. In Indian traditions, salt is used in spiritual baths to cleanse the body and spirit. These practices align with Zen teachings that emphasize the importance of maintaining clean and positive energy in our surroundings. To ensure salt remains effective in its purifying role, it's essential to cleanse it regularly. One simple method is to leave the salt under sunlight for a few hours. Sunlight has natural cleansing properties that can recharge the salt and remove any absorbed negativity. Another method is to dissolve the salt in water and then pour the water into the earth, symbolizing the return of absorbed energies to nature. Besides sunlight and water, salt can also be cleansed using sound vibrations. Ringing a bell or using a singing bowl near the salt can help break up and release stagnant energies. This method is often used in Zen practices to maintain the purity of objects and spaces. Additionally, combining salt with crystals like clear quartz can enhance its cleansing power, as crystals are known for their ability to amplify energy. Incorporating these practices into your routine 
can make a significant difference. By being mindful of the salt you use and taking steps to cleanse it, you can ensure that it continues to bring positive energy into your life. This awareness not only protects your well-being but also aligns with the Zen practice of living mindfully and harmoniously with our surroundings. Remember, the energy of the objects we surround ourselves with can greatly influence our lives. Salt, with its unique ability to absorb and purify energy, reminds us of the importance of spiritual cleanliness. By taking these simple steps to cleanse and care for our salt, we invite positive energy and harmony into our homes, enriching our spiritual journey. Through understanding and applying these Zen teachings, we learn to live with greater awareness and mindfulness. Our surroundings become not just places, we inhabit but spaces of positive energy that support our well-being and spiritual growth. So the next time you use salt, think beyond its taste and consider the energy it holds. And if this makes sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Free mattresses. Mattresses are essential for a good night's sleep, but they hold much more significance in terms of energy. In Zen Buddhism and many other spiritual practices, mattresses are seen as objects that can absorb and retain energy over time. This can greatly affect our sleep and overall well-being. Understanding this can help us be more mindful about the mattresses we use and how we care for them. Imagine the story of a woman named Aiko who bought a second-hand mattress. Soon after, she started experiencing restless nights and strange dreams. Her once peaceful sleep was disrupted, and she couldn't understand why. It turned out that the mattress had absorbed negative energies from its previous owner. This story teaches us the importance of being cautious with second-hand mattresses, as they can carry energies that impact our rest and health. In many cultures, the bed is considered a sacred space where one should feel safe and rejuvenated. For instance, in traditional Chinese medicine, the bedroom is a place of rest and healing, and the mattress plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance. Zen teachings also stress the importance of having a clean and positive environment for rest, as it directly affects our mental and physical well-being. To ensure that mattresses promote positive energy, it's important to cleanse them regularly. One effective method is to expose the mattress to sunlight. Sunlight has natural cleansing properties that can help to remove negative energies. Simply place the mattress in direct sunlight for a few hours, allowing the light to penetrate and purify it. I another method is to use salt. Sprinkle a thin layer of salt on the mattress and let it sit for a few hours before vacuuming it off. The salt can absorb negative energies from the mattress, leaving it cleansed and refreshed. This practice is simple yet powerful, aligning with Zen principles of simplicity and effectiveness. Sound vibrations can also be used to cleanse a mattress. Using a singing bowl or ringing a bell around the mattress can help to break up and release any stagnant energies. This method is often used in Zen practices to maintain the purity of living spaces. Combining this with the use of crystals like amethyst or clear quartz can further enhance the cleansing process, as these crystals are known for their ability to purify and protect against negative energy. Incorporating these practices into your routine can make a significant difference. By being mindful of the mattresses you sleep on and taking steps to cleanse them, you can ensure that your sleeping environment remains positive and supportive of your well-being. This awareness not only protects your health, but also aligns with the Zen practice of living mindfully and harmoniously with your surroundings. Remember, the energy of the objects we surround ourselves with can greatly influence our lives. Mattresses, with their unique ability to absorb and retain energy, remind us of the importance of spiritual cleanliness. By taking these simple steps to cleanse and care for our mattresses, we invite positive energy and harmony into our homes, enriching our spiritual journey.
Through understanding and applying these Zen teachings, we learn to live with greater awareness and mindfulness. Our surroundings become not just places we inhabit, but spaces of positive energy that support our well-being and spiritual growth. So the next time you lie down to rest, think beyond comfort and consider the energy your mattress holds. Four dot wallets and purses. Purses, wallets, and purses are more than just items to carry our money and personal belongings. In Zen Buddhism and other spiritual practices, these everyday objects are believed to hold and transfer energy, especially the financial energies of those who have owned or used them. This can significantly impact our financial well-being and overall sense of prosperity. Consider the story of a woman named Hannah who received a used wallet from a friend shortly after. She began facing unexpected financial troubles and a constant feeling of lack. It was only when she learned about the energy that wallets carry that she realized the importance of cleansing it. His story highlights the need to be mindful of the financial energy that second-hand wallets and purses can bring into our lives. In various cultures, the act of giving and receiving wallets and purses is seen as significant. For example, in some traditions, it is customary to gift a new wallet with a small amount of money inside to symbolize the flow of wealth. This practice aligns with Zen teachings that emphasize the importance of maintaining positive and flowing energy, especially in matters related to wealth and prosperity. To ensure that wallets and purses bring positive energy, it is essential to cleanse them regularly. One simple method is to use sunlight. Placing the wallet or purse in direct sunlight for a few hours can help remove negative energies and recharge it with positive vibes. Sunlight is a natural purifier that can revitalize the energy of these items. Another effective method is to use salt. Placing a small bowl of salt inside the wallet or purse overnight can absorb any negative energies. Afterward, the salt should be disposed of properly as it now contains the absorbed negativity. This practice is simple yet powerful, aligning with Zen principles of purification and renewal. Sound vibrations can also be used to cleanse wallets and purses. Using a singing bowl or ringing a bell around these items can help to break up and release any stagnant energies. This method is often used in Zen practices to maintain the purity of living spaces and objects. Combining this with the use of crystals like citrine or green aventurine, known for their properties to attract wealth and prosperity, can further enhance the cleansing process. Incorporating these practices into your routine can make a significant difference. By being mindful of the wallets and purses you use and taking steps to cleanse them, you can ensure that your financial environment remains positive and supportive of your well-being. This awareness not only protects your financial health, but also aligns with the Zen practice of living mindfully and harmoniously with your surroundings. Remember, the energy of the objects we surround ourselves with can greatly influence our lives. Wallets and purses, with their unique ability to carry and transfer financial energy, remind us of the importance of spiritual cleanliness. By taking these simple steps to cleanse and care for our wallets and purses, we invite positive financial energy and harmony into our lives, enriching our spiritual journey. Through understanding and applying these Zen teachings, we learn to live with greater awareness and mindfulness. Our surroundings become not just places we inhabit, but spaces of positive energy that support our well-being and spiritual growth. So the next time you use your wallet or purse, think beyond its practicality and consider the energy it holds. 5. Box Box, while practical in providing security, hold much deeper meanings in various cultures and spiritual practices. In Zen Buddhism and other traditions, locks symbolize protection and control of access. However, like any object, they can also carry and transfer energy, both good and bad. Understanding this helps us appreciate the need to be mindful of the locks we use, 
especially second-hand ones. Consider the story of a family who moved into a new house and decided to use old locks from a relative's home. Soon after, they experienced a series of unfortunate events and a sense of unease. They later learned that the locks had been used in a place where many negative incidents had occurred. This story illustrates the importance of being cautious with second-hand locks, as they can carry energies that affect our well-being and security. In many cultures, locks are not only practical items but also hold symbolic value. For instance, in some traditions, locks are used in rituals to symbolize binding and protection. They are believed to hold the power to secure not just physical spaces but also spiritual ones. This belief aligns with Zen teachings that emphasize the importance of maintaining positive energy in all aspects of our lives. To ensure that locks bring positive energy, it is essential to cleanse them regularly. One effective method is to use salt. Rubbing salt over the lock and then rinsing it off can help remove negative energies. This simple yet powerful practice aligns with Zen principles of purification and renewal. Another method is to expose the lock to sunlight for a few hours. Sunlight is a natural purifier and can help cleanse the lock of any lingering negative energies. Sound vibrations can also be used to cleanse locks. Using a singing bowl or ringing a bell around the lock can help to break up and release any stagnant energies. This method is often used in Zen practices to maintain the purity of living spaces and objects. Additionally, placing crystals like black tourmaline or clear quartz near the lock can enhance the cleansing process as these crystals are known for their ability to purify and protect against negative energy. Locks also play a role in various cultural beliefs about security and protection. For example, in some cultures, locks are seen as symbols of safeguarding secrets and personal space. They are used in rituals to lock away negative influences and protect the home and its inhabitants. This adds another layer of meaning to the physical act of locking doors and securing spaces. Incorporating these practices into your routine can make a significant difference. By being mindful of the locks you use and taking steps to cleanse them, you can ensure that your environment remains secure and positive. This awareness not only protects your well-being but also aligns with the Zen practice of living mindfully and harmoniously with your surroundings. Remember, the energy of the objects we surround ourselves with can greatly influence our lives. Locks, with their unique ability to control access and symbolize protection, remind us of the importance of spiritual cleanliness. By taking these simple steps to cleanse and care for our locks, we invite positive energy and security into our homes, enriching our spiritual journey. Through understanding and applying these Zen teachings, we learn to live with greater awareness and mindfulness. Our surroundings become not just places we inhabit, but spaces of positive energy that support our well-being and spiritual growth. So the next time you use a lock, Think beyond its practical purpose and consider the energy it holds. 6. Jewelry Jewelry is often worn to enhance our beauty, but in Zen Buddhism and many other spiritual practices, it holds much deeper significance. Jewelry pieces can absorb and carry the energy of those who wear them. This means that when you wear second-hand jewelry, you might also be taking on the emotions and experiences of the previous owner. Understanding this helps us appreciate the need to be mindful of the jewelry we wear and how we care for it. Consider the story of a man named Taro who inherited a ring from his grandmother. Soon after, he started feeling unexplained sadness and anxiety. It turned out that his grandmother had worn the ring during a difficult period in her life, and the ring had absorbed her emotional pain. This story highlights the importance of being aware of the energy that jewelry can carry and the impact it can have on our well-being. In various cultures, jewelry is not just an accessory, but also a symbol of power, protection and status. For example, in ancient Egypt, 
amulets and necklaces were worn to ward off evil spirits and bring good fortune. In Hinduism, certain gemstones are believed to have healing properties and are worn to balance the body's energies. These cultural practices align with Zen teachings that emphasize the importance of maintaining positive energy in all aspects of our lives. To ensure that jewelry carries positive energy, it is essential to cleanse it regularly. One simple method is to use water. Rinse the jewelry under running water, visualizing any negative energies being washed away. Water is a natural purifier and can help cleanse the jewelry of any absorbed negativity. Another method is to use salt water. Soak the jewelry in a bowl of salt water for a few hours, then rinse it with clean water and dry it thoroughly. This practice is simple yet powerful, aligning with Zen principles of purification and renewal. Sound vibrations can also be used to cleanse jewelry. Using a singing bowl or ringing a bell around the jewelry can help to break up and release any stagnant energies. This method is often used in Zen practices to maintain the purity of living spaces and objects. Additionally, placing crystals like clear quartz or amethyst near the jewelry can enhance the cleansing process as these crystals are known for their ability to purify and protect against negative energy. Incorporating these practices into your routine can make a significant difference. By being mindful of the jewelry you wear and taking steps to cleanse it, you can ensure that it continues to bring positive energy into your life. This awareness not only protects your well-being but also aligns with the Zen practice of living mindfully and harmoniously with your surroundings. Remember, the energy of the objects we surround ourselves with can greatly influence our lives. Jewelry, with its unique ability to absorb and carry energy, reminds us of the importance of spiritual cleanliness. By taking these simple steps to cleanse and care for our jewelry, we invite positive energy and harmony into our lives, enriching our spiritual journey. Through understanding and applying these Zen teachings, we learn to live with greater awareness and mindfulness. Our surroundings become not just places we inhabit, but spaces of positive energy that support our well-being and spiritual growth. So the next time you wear a piece of jewellery, think beyond its appearance and consider the energy it holds. If this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. 7. Clothing Clothing is more than just what we wear. It holds deep significance in various spiritual practices, including Zen Buddhism. Clothes can absorb and carry the energy of those who wear them, impacting our well-being. When we wear second-hand clothing, we might also take on the emotions and experiences of the previous owner. Understanding this helps us appreciate the need to be mindful of the clothing we wear and how we care for it. Consider the story of a woman named Emmy who loved vintage clothing. She bought a beautiful dress from a thrift store, but soon after she began feeling strangely anxious and unsettled whenever she wore it. It turned out that the dress had belonged to someone who had gone through a tough time. This story highlights the importance of being aware of the energy that clothing can carry and how it can affect us. In many cultures, clothing is seen as more than just a necessity, it can be a symbol of status, identity and protection. For instance, in traditional African cultures, specific garments are worn during rituals to invoke spiritual protection and blessings. In Hinduism, white clothing is often worn during meditation and spiritual practices to symbolize purity and peace. These cultural practices align with Zen teachings that emphasize the importance of maintaining positive energy in all aspects of our lives. To ensure that clothing carries positive energy, it is essential to cleanse it regularly. One simple method is to use water. Washing clothes with intention, visualizing any negative energies being washed away, can help cleanse them. Adding a bit of salt to the washing water can also enhance the purification process, as salt is known for its cleansing properties. Another effective method is to use sunlight. 
Hanging clothes outside in the sun not only dries them but also allows sunlight to cleanse them. Sunlight is a natural purifier and can help to remove any absorbed negativity from the fabric. This practice is simple yet powerful, aligning with Zen principles of purification and renewal. Sound vibrations can also be used to cleanse clothing. Using a singing bowl or ringing a bell around the clothes can help to break up and release any stagnant energies. This method is often used in Zen practices to maintain the purity of living spaces and objects. Additionally, placing crystals like amethyst or clear quartz in your closet can enhance the cleansing process, as these crystals are known for their ability to purify and protect against negative energy. Incorporating these practices into your routine can make a significant difference. By being mindful of the clothing you wear and taking steps to cleanse it, you can ensure that it continues to bring positive energy into your life. This awareness not only protects your well-being, but also aligns with the Zen practice of living mindfully and harmoniously with your surroundings. Remember, the energy of the objects we surround ourselves with can greatly influence our lives. Clothing, with its unique ability to absorb and carry energy, reminds us of the importance of spiritual cleanliness. By taking these simple steps to cleanse and care for our clothing, we invite positive energy and harmony into our lives, enriching our spiritual journey. Through understanding and applying these Zen teachings, we learn to live with greater awareness and mindfulness. Our surroundings become not just places we inhabit, but spaces of positive energy that support our well-being and spiritual growth. So the next time you put on a piece of clothing, think beyond its appearance and consider the energy it holds. If this makes sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. 8. Books Books are treasures of knowledge and wisdom, but in Zen Buddhism and many other spiritual practices, they also hold and transfer energy. Each book carries the energy of its author and previous readers. When we read second-hand books, we might also absorb the emotions, thoughts and experiences of those who have handled them. Understanding this helps us be mindful of the books we choose to keep and read. Consider the story of a man named Hiro who loved collecting old books. He found an old rare book at a flea market and brought it home. Soon after he started feeling uneasy and disturbed whenever he read it. It turned out that the book had belonged to someone who had experienced great sorrow. This story highlights the importance of being aware of the energy that books can carry and how it can affect us. In various cultures, books are more than just sources of information. They are seen as vessels of wisdom, power, and even spiritual protection. In many Buddhist traditions, sacred texts are treated with the utmost respect and care as they are believed to contain the enlightened energy of the Buddha's teachings. Similarly, in Hinduism, the Vedas are revered as divine knowledge that guides spiritual practice. These cultural practices align with Zen teachings that emphasize the importance of maintaining positive energy in all aspects of our lives. To ensure that books carry positive energy, it is essential to cleanse them regularly. One simple method is to use sunlight. Placing books in direct sunlight for a few hours can help remove any negative energies and recharge them with positive vibes. Sunlight is a natural purifier and can revitalize the energy of books. Another effective method is to use incense. Wafting the smoke of purifying incense like sandalwood or sage around the books can cleanse them of any absorbed negativity. This practice is simple yet powerful, aligning with Zen principles of purification and renewal. Sound vibrations can also be used to cleanse books. Using a singing bowl or ringing a bell around the books can help to break up and release any stagnant energies. This method is often used in Zen practices to maintain the purity of living spaces and objects. Additionally, placing crystals like clear quartz or selenite near the books can enhance the cleansing process as these crystals are known for their ability to purify and protect against negative energy. 
incorporating these practices into your routine can make a significant difference. By being mindful of the books you read and taking steps to cleanse them, you can ensure that they continue to bring positive energy into your life. This awareness not only protects your well-being but also aligns with the Zen practice of living mindfully and harmoniously with your surroundings. Remember, the energy of the objects we surround ourselves with can greatly influence our lives. Books, with their unique ability to hold and transfer energy, remind us of the importance of spiritual cleanliness. By taking these simple steps to cleanse and care for our books, we invite positive energy and harmony into our lives, enriching our spiritual journey. Through understanding and applying these Zen teachings, we learn to live with greater awareness and mindfulness. Our surroundings become not just places we inhabit, but spaces of positive energy that support our well-being and spiritual growth. So the next time you pick up a book, think beyond its content and consider the energy it holds. Books not only carry stories and information, but also the essence of those who have touched them. By being aware of this, we can make sure our reading experience is enriching and positive. This mindful approach allows us to connect deeply with the knowledge we gain and the energy we invite into our lives. Embrace the journey of reading with awareness, knowing that every book has a story beyond its pages. If this makes sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel Story Path. 9. Plants Plants are not just beautiful decorations for our homes, they hold deep spiritual significance in many traditions, including Zen Buddhism. Plants have the unique ability to absorb and reflect the energy of their environment and the people who care for them. Understanding this helps us appreciate the need to be mindful of the plants we bring into our living spaces and how we care for them. Imagine the story of a family who brought a large, beautiful plant into their home. Initially, it seemed to brighten up the room, but soon family members started experiencing unusual tension and conflict. They discovered that the plant had been taken from a place with a lot of negative energy. This story shows the importance of being aware of the energy that plants can carry and how it can affect our home environment. In various cultures, plants are seen as symbols of life, growth and healing. For example, in Feng Shui, specific plants are used to attract positive energy and prosperity into the home. In Native American traditions, certain plants like sage are used in cleansing rituals to purify spaces. These cultural practices align with Zen teachings that emphasize maintaining positive energy in all aspects of our lives. To ensure that plants bring positive energy, it is essential to care for them mindfully. One simple method is to regularly cleanse the plant's environment. This can be done by gently wiping the leaves with a damp cloth to remove dust and any negative energy. Additionally, you can use a misting spray with water and a few drops of essential oil, such as lavender or eucalyptus, to refresh the plant and its surroundings. Another effective method is to place plants in sunlight. Sunlight is a natural purifier and can help to recharge plants with positive energy. Allowing the plants to soak up the sun for a few hours can revitalize them and the energy they emit. This practice aligns with Zen principles of purification and renewal. Sound vibrations can also cleanse plants. Using a singing bowl or ringing a bell around the plants can help break up and release any stagnant energies. This method is often used in Zen practices to maintain the purity of living spaces and objects. Additionally, placing crystals like clear quartz or amethyst near the plants can enhance the cleansing process, as these crystals are known for their ability to purify and protect against negative energy. Plants can also benefit from being repotted with fresh soil over time. Soil can become depleted and hold on to negative energies. Repotting your plants gives them a fresh start and infuses them with new positive energy. When you repot your plants, you are also symbolically renewing your connection with them.
ensuring they continue to thrive in a healthy environment. Incorporating these practices into your routine can make a significant difference. By being mindful of the plants you bring into your home and taking steps to care for them, you can ensure that your environment remains positive and supportive of your well-being. This awareness not only protects your health, but also aligns with the Zen practice of living mindfully and harmoniously with your surroundings. Remember, the energy of the objects and living beings we surround ourselves with can greatly influence our lives. Plants, with their unique ability to absorb and reflect energy, remind us of the importance of spiritual cleanliness. By taking these simple steps to cleanse and care for our plants, we invite positive energy and harmony into our homes, enriching our spiritual journey. Through understanding and applying these Zen teachings, we learn to live with greater awareness and mindfulness. Our surroundings become not just places we inhabit, but spaces of positive energy that support our well-being and spiritual growth. So, the next time you tend to your plants, Think beyond their beauty and consider the energy they hold. Conclusion We have explored how everyday objects like mirrors, salt, mattresses, wallets, locks, jewellery, clothing, books and plants can hold and transfer energy. These items are more than just things we use daily, they affect our well-being and spiritual health. By understanding the energy these objects carry, we can make better choices about what we bring into our lives and how we care for them. Each chapter has shown the importance of keeping our surroundings clean, not just physically but also energetically. Cleansing methods like using sunlight, salt, sound vibrations and crystals can help remove negative energy and keep our environment positive. These simple practices can make a big difference in how we feel and live. For instance, placing objects in sunlight can naturally purify them using salt. To cleanse items can absorb negative energies, and sound vibrations from a singing bowl or bell can break up stagnant energy. Crystals like clear quartz or selenite can enhance these cleansing methods, offering additional protection and purification. Zen teachings remind us to be mindful and aware of everything around us. By applying these teachings to our daily lives, we can create spaces filled with positive energy. This not only supports our well-being but also helps us grow spiritually. Living mindfully means paying attention to the energy of the objects we use and ensuring they support a peaceful and harmonious life. Remember, the energy of the things we surround ourselves with can greatly influence our lives. Taking care of the energy in our homes and personal items can lead to a more balanced and fulfilling life. By incorporating these Zen practices, we invite positive energy and harmony into our lives, enriching our spiritual journey. Through understanding and applying these Zen teachings, we learn to live with greater awareness and mindfulness. Our surroundings become not just places we inhabit but spaces of positive energy that support our well-being and spiritual growth. So, take these lessons to heart and start cleansing the energy around you. Your journey to a more mindful and harmonious life begins now. If this resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.